Hello my viewers and subscribers. Today I will be doing a tutorial on a triangular motif. As you can see, it is quite easy to crochet. If you're a beginner, stay tuned. You're going to love this one because it is so easy and it's fast, okay? The yarn I use is this one. Let me turn it around. So, it is the Needle Crafters yarn. It's 100% acrylic, okay? And I paid just $1.25, and that's the dollar store that I bought it, okay? It is a very good texture. It's not rough on the skin, okay? And it's not thick. It's just, you know, like the right texture. The needle I'm using today is a 3.0 millimeter crochet needle and this crochet needle is perfect for this particular yarn. It works so well, okay? Now we're gonna get our camera set up, so stay tuned, okay? And you will learn how to do this triangular motif. And with this motif you can make a scarf, table runner, tablecloth, you can make pretty much so many things, okay? The list goes on. You just have to become creative. Hang on, we're gonna get set up. Okay, so we're gonna get started, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is remove my wrapper off my yarn, okay? Because it's gonna be in the way when I'm trying to crochet and get to my yarn. So I'm just gonna put my yarn aside and we're gonna make a loop okay a knot and then one two three four four chains we're gonna join them with a slip stitch and we're gonna make one two three chains we're go gonna go inside our chain stitch that we joined we're gonna make a double crochet then we're gonna make one two three four five chains we're gonna go back in here and we're gonna make two double crochets. So we have something that looks like this already. We're gonna make one, two, three, four, five chains. We're gonna go back in, okay? Our circle that we joined, which are the chain stitch, and we're gonna make two double crochet. We're gonna make one, two, three chains and then we're gonna go in our first stitch and we're gonna make a double crochet so we have something that looks like this okay now we're gonna make one two three chains and we're gonna make double crochet then we're gonna make one whoops one, two, three, four, five chains. And we're going to go in here. And we make two double crochets. We're going to make one, two, three, three chains. And two more double crochets. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five chains. We're going to go in here and we're going to make two double crochets, three chains, two double crochets. Okay, then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, five chains. We're going back in here and we're going to make two double crochets in total then we're gonna make one two three chains and a double crochet we're going back in our first stitch so we have something that's starting to look like this okay we're gonna make one two three chains we're gonna go in here okay we're gonna make one two three four five chains 
and here slip stitch one two three four five chains in here two double crochets one two three chains two double crochets and one two three four five five chains slip stitch one two three four five chains again and two double crochets so as you can see it's very repetitive but it is quite easy okay not complicated at all or complex very easy if you if you're a beginner you can do this so we're doing very well we're getting there as you can see so i'll stop for a moment and let you see so that's what it's starting to look like okay and we're going to make one two three four five chains we're going to go in here and make two double crochets three chains and then we're going back in our first stitch and actually let's try this again we're going in our first double crochet and then we're having something that looks like that we're going to make one two three chains okay and a double crochet and then one two three four five chains we're going in here slip stitch one two three four five chains in here another slip stitch one two three four five we're gonna go in here and we're doing two double crochets and then one two three chains two double crochets one two three four five chains in here one two three four five chains in here okay so that's what it's starting to look like one two three four five five chains in here see we're almost finished already and one two three chains two double crochet one two three four five chains slip stitch one two three four five chains slip stitch okay like that one two three four five chains we're gonna make two double crochets in here and then we're gonna make one two three chains and double crochet in our first stitch and that's what it's looking like so we're gonna do our last round now one two three and then one two three four five 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 so we're on the last round see how fast that was one two three so when you're doing motifs like this you don't have to stop to try and figure out what to do next because it, it's very repetitive okay so you don't have to worry one two three four five 
So as you can see, we're almost there. Okay. Almost there. And the thing is with motives, you can even use like multicolors, okay? When you start using multicolors, it gives it a personality of its own. It just start to give it like a different look. You can work with different themes as far as colors or color schemes to match your decor with whatever you plan on making or if it's just maybe a scarf or whatever you can choose your favorite color it would be a fashion scarf by the way not a winter scarf you know like a shawl or anything like that so we're at the end so i'm gonna make five chains and i'm gonna go in my first double crochet stitch and I'm going to join it so as you can see our motif is finished and I'm just going to clip my yarn with my scissors my favorite scissors and I'm going to tuck it in from the back so this is how I tuck my work in sometimes I tuck my work in so neatly I can't remember if where I started or where I ended so it's always good to tuck your work in so there's nothing sticking out okay you want to have something neat you don't want anyone to see where you started and where you finished okay so there we have it a crochet triangular motif okay so we have one and we have two see I hope you enjoy the video please remember to like share subscribe hit the notification bell share me with all your social media friends okay on all your social media apps remember you can drop by my channel anytime. My door is always open. Bring as many friends as you want. I need some subscribers and I need some viewers. And with your help, that's possible. So until next time, many blessings to you. Take care. Bye for now.